Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Zap again, and this is going to be the second part of my dreams talk. And uh, I really wanted to finish this today and give uh, you know two parts of it before I forgot what it was, and that way I still had it in my mind. I'm using the top 25 in this game with fast mags and the red dot. I hate this gun with a passion, but I got tired of using a submachine gun and being like everybody else. So I figured I would use a gun, that, you know, a little bit different. I mean, there's some people that use the top 25. I personally do not like it. I'm waiting for level 22 so I can start working on my FAL, my FAL, so I can start working on it and getting all the stuff because of this. My favorite gun in the game. Uh, since I do have this for console, I have it for Xbox 360. So I'm pretty looking forward to that. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be all right. Um, with all the submachine guns and shotguns, we'll see how it goes. You know, there's a lot of accusations going around in this game. I think it's kind of funny. I totally thought it would be different than uh, console, but it's really not. Uh, the people, I figured they'd be a little bit older. They might be, but all in all, it's still pretty much the same game, which is to be expected since it is a console port. I have been finding out today though that there's been, I've been like, kind of lagging even though my latency is around 50. I'm having some lag issues uh, or glitching. Well, not really glitching, but mostly lag and stuff like that. So hopefully that gets better in the future. And the one thing that, I, that I'm not really for sure about this game so far is is so different than what I've done before. Even though I'm pretty good at Battlefield 3. You know, I've got the aim and stuff like that, and decent at Crisis 3 on PC and stuff. This feels like a totally different experience, and it doesn't matter even though I have all that background in all the other first-person shooters. This one right here is giving me a little bit of a rough time, and it's kind of weird. It's kind of like uh, doing this for the first time, even though I haven't played a first-person shooter in about two weeks, I guess it's just since I've been on spring break. So, we're gonna get started on the second part of Dreams after I get that little intro and whatnot. Now, when I finished off in the last video, I was talking about how whenever you lose your dreams, like I had, that you have to research your identity. Again, you have to find out who you are. And it can be a challenge because everything that you had known before or loved or everything that defined you is totally different whenever you lose your dreams or you become disabled or something like that and usually like I said whenever you go through that phase whenever you're in your teens it's uh, called identity versus uh, role confusion or some some kind of identity versus something and it is one of Eric Erickson's psychology theories um, since I am going to be a teacher now I have to know all this crap so I'm gonna throw that in there some knowledge down even though I don't remember it, but it is identity versus something but that's story for another day so like I said you had you kind of really have to find out who you are again and everything that you've known say you know if you had been an accomplished athlete in high school and that's what it defined you was your athletic abilities and you ended up I don't know having knee surgery and you couldn't play sports anymore since they had to find you, you would not really know who you was anymore, and you would have to find new outlets to kind of, and, you know, what your role is in life, and it's really going to change your identity and your outlook on things. So, like I said, if you're an athlete and stuff and you got hurt, I mean, you might not, you still might be able to do physical activities, such as, uh, you know, run or lift weights or something, depending on. I'm sure there would be some sort of stipulation behind it. I've never had any surgery, so I do not know. So that being said, though, you'd have to really think about what you wanted to be and who you want to be and stuff like that. And the things that I had to find you before would not really pertain to this new person that you have become or that you're going to become. And it can oftentimes lead into depression. And that's why I said these videos are going to really pertain or lead on into something else like depression, disability, and uh, college and crap like that. Um, 
or stuff. I'm gonna say stuff, stuff like that. So stuff like that. And this new person might not be the person that you want to be, and there's gonna be a lot of aggravation and things that go along with it. Especially, you know, if you wanted, if the big thing was you hanging out with your buddies, playing uh, touch football or something on the weekend, or shooting hoops, and you can't do that now, and it's really gonna put a strain on who you are. And it's going to make relationships that you've had in the past with your friends and stuff. It'll make it a little bit more difficult. To, difficult. If I could talk. Difficult. So, you really have to take a look and you have to... It's kind of hard to put into words because I had to go through it. I'm still going through it. So, you really have to take a look and maybe almost like meditate on... I don't know what you want to be or become and it'll change it'll change your uh, your personality a lot you know before I got hurt you know I was the fun loving non-serious guy you know and I love to lift weights and hang up my buddies and do stuff like that I'm not saying that I can't hang up my buddies now or anything like that but it really gives you a new perspective on life and how you take things in and what you give back and honestly it'll make you look at life totally different and appreciate the things that you do have versus the things that you once had and that being said you you know you, you take joy in the small things and by this I mean just anything like I walked with a limp um, after my surgery and so you know that's the thing you know yeah, it's a bummer that I had a limp, but at least I could still walk. So I took joy in the fact that I could walk. I don't have a limp anymore, but that's just because of hard work and dedication. Um, and just the pain and hours that I spent trying to rehabilitate myself. And that's something that, if you know your dreams get taken away, I'm going to use another dream instead of sports, but it's something that doesn't have to go with an injury of any sort so let's say you know you are in a rock band and you're doing really really good you know there's regular labels and stuff looking at you but you end up getting your girlfriend pregnant and let's say you're an actual man and you decide that instead of pursuing your dreams to be a rock star you are going to get a job and support your family like a man should. So let's say you do that. Hopefully you would. So this is your dreams are going to be taken away and your identity as sort of a musician or a rock player or you know a touring artist or whatever is going to be taken away but you'll be given something back instead. You'll be given your new identity will be as a father and hopefully as a husband a provider somebody like that so you're really going to change into a more mature person and it's going to change your personality and how you look on things so let's say before you know with your money you went and bought I don't know a PRS a Paul Reed Smith say you want to buy a custom 24 it's thirty six hundred dollars so instead of say buying a PRS with your money that you have attained from your job you actually buy stuff for your family and for your kids you know you have to pay rent and bills and buy food and diapers and all that stuff but at the same time though even though you might be putting in all this hard work you're still going to get the joy of love and the joy of seeing your child grow up and them taking their first steps and their first words and so the things that you have lost will ultimately be replaced with something that will bring joy to your life still so even though you may have lost your once dream the dream you had as a child then it'll be replaced by something else so the thing about dreams though is yeah you may have them when you're younger in your teens and early twenties but throughout life you as a person change and your dreams will change change and you'll ultimately grow into a better person a more mature person so this has been some real serious stuff i know but thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it and look forward to more